Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're back over on our YouTube account. We're gonna do some Dracona summons, but overall, we wanna hop in this video and we wanna build out a couple of heroes based on our tier list, making sure that we're really optimizing the heroes because of course, to be comp very competitive within AFK Arena, some of these required heroes are going to be important to build out a little bit further. Now, of course, starting with number one, which is Liberta. Now, Liberta is in a really good spot where we have him. Plus 40 signature item. We do have, I believe, the 30 or 28 or 30 furniture. And then we also do have the engraving built out significantly above 60. So we have Liberta actually built out to a 67, which is ideal for him because, of course, doing an incredible lot of uh, incredible amount of damage in a lot of different game modes is the reason why we took the engraving a little bit higher. We took the furniture higher. And of course, we got to that plus 40 signature item. Now, looking at the next one is Lava Tune. So Lava Tune only has a plus 30 signature item, which now we're going to go ahead and build him out a little bit further. I've been holding on to an incredible amount of resources. We were kind of wondering what was coming down the pipeline with the Draconic heroes, um, also with the new heroes that are going to be coming. And at this point, I feel like I really need to build out some of this because, of course, it's going to make a big difference on how much some of these heroes can buff, how much damage they're doing, and really pushing the envelope in a bunch of different methods. So remember, to build out the signature items, now we're at a plus 30 right now. To take this one step further, we are going to use the Epic Chaos Emblem. So we're gonna go boom, one time with this, that is gonna take it to a 31. Now we are moving into red emblems and red emblems in its entirety, which means we're gonna build it out, and we're gonna build it out until we get to the very last two levels, essentially, and then we're going to switch back to the other emblems to build it out. <clears throat> so right here, we're at a 38, like I was saying. So at a 38, we're going to go 39 right here, which, of course, we don't have enough of those, but I believe with the chest we do have. So there's a 39, there is the 40, and that is how we are going to build them out. Now, of course, mathematically, it makes sense to build them out this way. However, when right now we can get a lot more red chests, we do have an incredible amount of red chests where we don't have an incredible amount of these epic chests, but essentially adding 10 levels to the signature item on Lava Tune is going to be honestly an absolute game changer because of where we do have him built. And that is just going to amplify again the buffing ability that he has within this formation. Now looking at the engraving, we took him all the way to a 67, so again, going above the 60, going to the 67. Now this is to, again, be competitive in a lot of different game modes. Gonna allow him essentially in the Cursed Realm and the Nightmare Corridor and the Treasure Scramble to go ahead and buff up a lot further, which is why we're building these out. Now looking at the third one on our list is the Awakened version of Shamira. Now, of course, we already have Shamira at a plus 40. The engraving we already do have at an 80, that is right. I love Shamira and I love that they did the Awakened version of Shamira which was the reason why I did build her up quite a bit further. And then, of course, even with the furniture, we do have a lot of additional buffs out of there because essentially even building up her up a little bit further, getting the HP a little bit higher makes a big difference in this hero. Then we move on to number four, which is Damia. Again, Damia with the plus 40 signature item. Want to really maximize what she's doing within combat. We did the exact same with the engraving, actually taking her past the 60 up to a 67 to add a lot more of those secondary stats. And then, of course, the furniture we just kept at a 9 of 9, keeping her pretty basic overall. Coming in at number 5 is Athalia. So, of course, the Awakened version of Athalia. We did the plus 40 signature item in here again, making a really, really big difference in a lot of different game modes. Even the engraving, again, we took up to an 80 for the PvP aspect, being competitive. And when it comes to the inn, that is right. It is a 36 of 36 furniture. A lot of players do question how you can take it past the 9 of 9 furniture. You can actually strengthen furniture all the way up to where you see it right here, which is a 36 of 36 furniture, which is kind of a crazy build, but it does work incredibly well. Now, looking at the next hero again, just kind of running down this priority list is Jerome having the plus 30 signature item in there, the 9 of 9 furniture, which we have, and then taking him to a 36. So actually building this up a little bit further, which I'm going to take up the attack speed. We're going to build this up again a little bit further. Boom, the 36 is where we're going to keep him. Now, as a buffer, he doesn't require the 60. You could do it for PvP, but overall doesn't really require a bigger build than this. Doesn't really need the plus 40 signature item. He is really good, essentially, where he is at right here, which is, is exactly where we're going to keep him. Then we look at Lucila. Now, of course, Lucila. So looking again, 
big picture when you look at the Stargazer, when you look at the heroes that you're looking to summon within the Celestials and the Hypos, we have Liberta, we have Lavatoon, we have Demia, and then we have Lucia. All of them fall into this SSS tier, which essentially is the top tier within AFK Arena that you want to build. Now for her, the 30960 is the decent build for her. So again, looking at the plus 30 signature item, which is where we do have her, we have the 60 engraving, which is right here, of course, still staying at that 60 engraving in the nine of nine furniture. So we pretty much have her maxed out exactly where we want her to be as well, which means we move on to, of course, Ivan. Now, Ivan in here, they go for a kind of a combination build of either doing the plus 40 signature item or keeping the 30 and actually building the 30938. You can see with the engraving right now, we took him well past that. We actually took him to 61 and 61 gives him a little bit more attack. You could also, or excuse me, a little bit more haste, but you could also do the attack for this hero. So this is where we built up a little bit more haste. You could also do the attack because of course, looking down here at the attack, Right here in the middle, we can build this out just a little bit further. With the higher attack, it is going to allow him essentially when he becomes the puppeteer or when he shields another individual, this is going to allow him to shield them and be a little bit stronger. And again, looking at the resources, which is where about we want to stay, we are pretty good there. Then, of course, the plus 40 signature item. When other puppet heroes sacrifice health, the puppet recovers 120 energy points. So taking this from a 30 to a 40 would essentially give us 20 more energy. But again, the big thing here is you get the armor, you get right there the PRF, which is going up a little bit higher. So building it up even a little bit further can make a really big difference on where the hero is performing. But I'm gonna skip Ivan right now because I wanna look at Palmer, which is the very um, one of the very last ones which are falling in this list. And again, looking at the plus 40 signature item with Palmer, when Palmer's Faith is maxed out, so of course, when you look at a full battle, if you're looking at, let's say, the, the Cursed Realm where it's a full minute 30, um, whenever an allied hero deals damage to an enemy's enemy hero and their crit rating exceeds the enemy's crit block rating by at least 100 points, the damage dealt will be increased by 1% for every one excessive points up to 50%. That is right, guys. You're going to from a 40% here to a 50% here. So pretty big difference within the combination of those, which could make this well worth it. But there's another hero that I'm actually eyeing, which is Naruko. So building out Naruko, and again, looking at an optimal build for Naruko, actually takes this up a little bit further. So we're at a 38 right now. And of course, when Nadia becomes an adult worm crawler, um, she sprays Venom five times each random, uh, five times against random nearby enemies. Each spray deals damage. And then of course, the attack rating, therefore, for the the deaths of every three summoned entities, Nadia's Spray Venom three times instead of using the normal attack. So a lot in there really with Nadia. Nadia is very important, but one thing to note is right here, a lot of players are building up Naruko to the plus 40 signature item. Adult Nadia now stacks her basic attacks and Venom defense reduce our reduction reducing effects up to seven layers. So the five stacks is going to essentially seven layers here. Now, of course, right here, the defense rating by an additional 10% for eight seconds. This is going to give her a massive, massive debuff that she's gonna provide in combat, which means that anyone that is running her or anyone that is kind of in the formation is going to do a lot more damage, which again is the reason why Nadia is still staying in that SSS tier because of the plus 40 signature item. But overall, utility-wise, I think I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go with Palmer and build him out a little bit further. Again, looking here at what we do have. Boom, we're gonna build this up and then we're looking to go ahead and use some of these chests. And I think here we have a lot, which again, we're gonna build this up to a 38, which is where we're at. So the last two we're gonna use, but I wanna check out how many red chests essentially we do have in this game mode because right here, the red chest, we still have 375, so we're still pretty good. We can wait and get a couple more of those epic emblems to actually build them out a little bit further. Then of course, looking at our emblem chest, we're still at 375, so we've went through a lot of them. However, overall, Palmer is going to be way, way, way stronger, even getting you know a big buff within the buffer. I'm gonna make a big difference with the hero, and we'll focus on building him out to that plus 40 signature item. I don't want to burn through all of my red chests right now. And the reason being, we don't know exactly what is coming down the pipeline with the new hero, which should be a mauler to go ahead and build out. Now, of course, 
We're still building these up a little bit further um, with the Lord of Ashes. We need to wait till we get some more of these, which of course are gonna come from the Wormcrest, so, or the Dragonforge Trials. Now in here, of course, we've tried nine, and again, even getting heroes up a little bit further. If you remember when we built up our Draconic heroes, we actually took them up quite a bit. You can see we got some more copies. We actually got a plus 26, 26 signature item right there. We built up Cassius a little bit further. I'm um, still built up Polina a little bit further, still not having the ability to get through that ninth floor. And again, we have went through like four different variations of formations running this. Still can't get the RNG to work. I'm gonna go ahead and set my teams a little bit later. Try to get nine done because we want to make sure that we're getting more rewards out of here, essentially getting more emblems to continue to build those. But again, even doing the summons, we built this up a little bit further and we have continued to do that. So let's hop in here. I think I have a couple, couple diamonds. So we'll do one quick summon in here and still looking for more food, still looking for more copies. Then of course, we only have one in here. We're going to have to wait to see when we get a couple more copies to build out a few of these heroes much, much further than we already have them because it's very expensive. I cannot wait for the update. We get the new Field of Stars. We'll be able to actually build it out quite a bit, but we just continue to use all of our diamonds in there. Then of course, we have 22 Stargazer Scrolls, but we have almost 700 Awaken Emblems. You figure when an Awaken Hero comes up, we're gonna get another 50, plus all the ones ancillary out of the Voyage of Wonder, out of the release, everything like that. So we're probably going to be pushing 750, maybe 800 emblems by the time we get this next Awaken Hero. So I'm hoping, me personally, that it's kind of right around the corner that we're going to have the ability to actually build it out a little bit further sooner rather than later, just kind of based on the build. And of course, we're going to continue building those Draconic Heroes overall and the plus 40 signature items. Again, to be competitive within AFK Arena, even here we're ranked 99, but when you look at some of these heroes, again, that we were talking about, they are in formations. So even looking through here, which we could build out, you know, Adrian and Elise a little bit, but I really didn't want to. But looking right there is Lava Tune, of course. Now we have a plus 40 in there. Um, we also do have a couple other heroes like Palmer is right down here. We have Naruko in here. All of the heroes that we've been building up and really focusing on, even looking, there's Demia. Um, again, there's Lava Tune, but all of them, even looking at Athelia, looking at Lucila, looking at Ivan, they are all in these formations and there is a reason why they are specifically in these formations as they are the absolute top tier heroes we see in AFK Arena and the exact same thing within the Cursed Realm Nightmare Corridor. Um, we are seeing the exact same thing with the priority heroes in the S class, which is what we're kind of building out. But all right guys, that is gonna do it for today's video and I'm still kind of shocked that we're seeing the one trillion combat rating up there, which is very cool to see. But again, that is gonna do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think and as always, Thank you guys for watching.